if the value that is being calculated with the sample comes out close to the value that's being estimated in the entire population that the sample came from, then the sample is providing the researcher with highly accurate information about the entire population. For example, if the sample mean comes out close to the population mean, then the sample mean is providing highly accurate information about the population mean. If the sample percentage comes out close to the population percentage, then the sample percentage is providing highly accurate information about the population percentage. If you want your sample to provide highly accurate information about the entire population, you're going to want a wide variety of population members in your sample. For example, if I was recording the ages of 200 college students who live in the U.S. to estimate the mean age of all college students who are living in the U.S., then I wouldn't want to have a sample that's mostly freshmen and not very many other grade levels, because then the mean of my sample would underestimate the mean age of the entire population. I also wouldn't want a sample that's made up of mostly seniors and not very many other grade levels, because then the mean age of my sample would overestimate the mean age of the entire U.S. college student population. What I would want is a balanced mixture of all four grade levels in my sample, so that the mean of my sample would come out fairly close to the mean of the entire population. Here's another example. If I was recording the amount of money spent on gas by 200 college students living in the U.S. to estimate the average amount of money spent on gas by all college students living in the U.S., I wouldn't want my sample to mostly include uh, college students who are living in dorms or to mostly include college students who commute to campus every day.